so I've got a check engine light on so uh, I've actually already put the uh, nanocom on it it's a P0134 so uh, now I'm going to use the uh, the uh, Bluetooth uh, blue driver to uh, do a little more diagnostics so here's a screenshot of the nanocom showing the P034 O2 sensor left side upstream so it's not getting a signal and here's a screenshot of the blue blue driver uh, showing the code P P0134 it's got a trouble, couple of pending codes but once you clear the P0134 those two go away so here's my two um, O2 sensors so this is the original one. This is the one I actually replaced. But because I never knew quite sure if it was the O2 sensor was wrong or if it was the wiring or the ECU, I uh, kept it. I originally bought a walker when I was doing uh, all the uh, troubleshooting and wasn't sure if this was a problem. So I ended up buying a Bosch one. Still have the box, this is empty. So that is in the um, car right now. So we're gonna replace this one. We're gonna actually try this one, just see what happens. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so here's the uh, tools I'm gonna use to remove the O2 sensor. I've got an O2 sensor wrench. Um, you need an adapter, it only takes a uh, half inch. Uh, I think it's easier if you have a long extension and then a longer uh, ratcheting handle. Uh, if it's just a normal length, you really can't get enough torque on there. So let's go take out this, uh, this old one. And that did not work. Interesting, this was the same reading I was getting when my ECU was bad. Um, 1.125, it would just... It would actually start about seven or eight hundred, uh, point seven hundred or point eight hundred, and would just go on up to one point one two five and be dead. So, um, I'm gonna trash this. Let's get rid of this uh, O2 sensor, and there's no reason to keep it. I always wondered if it was actually broken, but I think it was. And obviously that didn't work, so we're back to the walker. Let's try this one because we know that one does not work. Uh, that's given us our uh, bad readings and this one we just did um, and it was given that same reading um, last year so this one's intermediate this one's actually given that 1.25 so let's go to this one and see what happens um, very interesting it's not hardly given anything um, it was shown a little bit of voltage but nothing nothing uh, big and then it just dropped down to nothing so I really don't know what's going on with the Walker one because that one really hasn't even been used I mean I put it in last year while I was uh, troubleshooting everything I drive it around for a few miles or so but nothing more than you know five or ten miles so I don't know why but let's uh, let's take it out and uh, this obviously doesn't work well, that didn't work, obviously. So there is a lot of gunk in this oxygen sensor, even though it's a year old. I'm gonna to try to clean it with some mass airflow sensor. Uh, just spray it, clean it, and uh, we're gonna put this back in. Seeing that it was working, it was just intermediate. So we'll see. So it cleaned up pretty well. Um, I'm gonna let it dry for about an hour because I gotta let the uh, Exhaust system cool down for about an hour anyway before I can put it in. And uh, we'll see what happens then. So we're going to put the uh, Bosch one back in. I've cleaned it up. A little difference between the Bosch and the Walker. There's the Walker. Walker's got a lot longer cord. If you notice, it's, got, it's gray, but it actually is the correct front O2 sensor. They just put gray on there. The Land Rover original, the Bosch have orange connectors. Now, I did check the connector. Um, 
when I unplugged it, um, no visible wires hanging out or any problems, no corrosion. So um, we got that going for us. Well, look what happened here. Everything's working just fine. Um, interesting. Uh, I'm getting the readings. This is what you want to see from your 202 sensors. The green is from the passenger side, the right side. Um, so the sensor is going to go in between 0.1 and 0.9, uh, essentially. Um, and it's, it's a constant back and forth. So if you're not getting anything, it's usually around a 0 0.450, 0 0.5, uh, or just dead. Um, but that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see it going, uh, oscillating back and forth, going high, low, high, low, high, low. And the engine is constantly making adjustments, shooting more fuel into the system based on these readings. So I'm going to go with this. Um, this happened about a uh, about a hundred miles ago. I first got this uh, this code. I cleared it, and then all of a sudden it started working again. I was I was using the Bluetooth driver while driving around, and then earlier today it happened again. Again, it was about a hundred miles ago when it first started. I haven't seen it again, so obviously I never did anything before. So hopefully, just cleaning the O2 sensor did the trick. I've uh, reset the code, the uh, turned off the code. I need to get the uh, the D2 inspected for the state inspections this month anyway, and uh, hopefully it doesn't come back on, and we can get our uh, new plates, or at least the sticker for it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.